Hey everybody, it's Venetia. Today is Monday, August 5th. It isn't a weigh-in Monday, but you know I had to sneak on the scale anyway. Um, I'll tell you about that later. Um, I'm just doing a video, like a mixed bag video, because every time I think of something that I want to put in one of these um, videos, that chronicled my weight loss journey. I write it up on my board and my board is half full so I don't know how long it's going to be but I just ask that you stay with me because I have a lot to get off my chest. First, um, if you saw my last video that I posted a few days ago and had to keep reposting and reposting because the damn thing wouldn't work, you know that um, I had my first personal trainer experience. Um, now, we had a couple of glitches. We were supposed to meet a couple days before we actually did get to meet, but on Thursday, this past Thursday, um, we finally did get to do a session together. And I'm sorry I'm drinking in my video, but my mouth is so dry today. Um, the personal training experience was everything that I expected. Um, and it was challenging, but it wasn't like, oh, my God, I never want to go back challenging. I actually look forward to going back and seeing her in three more days. Um, and since it was the first one, we did a workout, but basically it was more like um, learning my, how my body reacts to the machines and, you know, showing me the right body mechanics when I'm using the machines and when I'm using the equipment in the gym. And we were talking a lot about, like, body form and proper, you know, you know, the body mechanics and stuff like that and listening to your body, letting you know, knowing the difference between pain and challenge. So, um you know, it was a really good experience, and when I tell you that I was sweating like a freaking stuck pig during the warm-up, because she had me, we had so much variety, and one of the things that she did tell me was to switch it up, because I will go in the gym, and I will run straight to the treadmill, while when your body gets accustomed to the treadmill, it's not maximizing your benefit there, so we tried a couple of other machines, including the damn elliptical and the arc trainer that I despise but guess what I did it and I did not die and I could still walk <laughs> um what else did we do oh so yeah we did some cool down stretches and we did like some light weights and stuff you know try to figure out which weights were correct for the exercises that I needed to do for maximum efficiency and so I really enjoyed it and I can't wait to go back now that was Thursday on Friday, I went out to celebrate my girl's birthday. My One of my best friends, her birthday is August 3rd. And, oh, oh my God. All the work that I did at the gym went kaput. Um, and you know what my problem is. We went to Fridays, which my girls, um, that's where we meet. When one of us has a problem, we meet at Fridays. When one of us is celebrating, we meet at Fridays. Um, because it's close and it's cheap and it's fun. It's a good atmosphere. And that's just what we've been doing. So I'm going to have to definitely cut back. Um, it's just not, it's just, it is it's not helpful to my weight loss journey and I hate to tell him this but I did call him and tell him look I was using my fitness pal I put in my meals and oh my god I'm gonna put a screenshot of my fitness pal for that day for Friday at Fridays and I mean in a nutshell in a nutshell I fucked it up um as a matter I don't have my phone nearby but oh my god Oh my God, it might be on my tablet. Sometimes my fitness power doesn't sync to all my, my devices, but I'm going to see. Um, it was horrible. It was, and then on to, uh, to add insult to injury, I did not exercise on Friday. Um, no excuse why not, but I didn't, and I should have. I should have exercised twice. So... I um so needless to say, that kind of threw me in a tailspin, and um, it was oh it, it is on here. So my goal is eighteen hundred. That's my calorie goal every day is eighteen hundred calories. 
Fridays, the day I went to Fridays, not only did, uh, it's, I'm disgusted, not only did I have, I was, I went to Target that morning at like 1030. When I left Target, I walked past Pizza Hut, turned around, went back and got a personal pan pizza, which was almost 600 calories. And then, and I hadn't eaten pr prior to me going to the store, which I know better. I know that you do not go anywhere. I don't care if it's a, a big box store or wherever, hungry. And I did. And so the, my impulses. I'm sorry. Y'all spent half the damn video yawning. I don't know what it is when the camera comes on. I don't yawn this much off camera. <laughs> Um, my impulses got the best of me. And then when I was leaving Target, my dad called and said, hey, our family's all together. Why don't you come with us? Meet us, blah, blah, blah. Okay, I said, I'll meet you in an hour and a half. He said, that's cool. He calls me back. He said, what you want for lunch? I said, I'm not hungry. He was like, okay, so meet us up here. He got deluxe pizza from Sam's Club. And you know what? I ate not one, but two slices. And it wasn't even good, but it was there, so I ate it. And then, on top of that, I went to Fridays to meet my girls. I was not hungry. But I still ordered appetizers for the table and ate half of it, my damn self. And I had I tried to relinquish my guilt by ordering a turkey burger. Are you kidding? I've got to be fucking insane. Ate all of the french fries. And then I had enough points for a free dessert. So what did my fat ass do? I went and got a brownie obsession and did not share it. So all in all, that meal at Friday's was almost twice, excuse me, almost twice the amount of my day, my whole entire day's worth of calories. Um, so overall, I disgusted is an understatement you understand so i was oh i was over 2800 calories you know i was 2800 calories over my 1800 calories which is absolutely unacceptable i the only good thing i did on friday was drink my gallon of water that's it and, like, on the grand scale of things, that's not literally a drop in the bucket. I absolutely fucked up. It was gluttonous. It was sinful. And guess what? Saturday was okay. Yesterday, I went to the beach with my mom and, again, had pizza, had chips cookies. And even though I did exercise before I went and was still under my calories in my fitness pal, the point I'm trying to make is that um, the weekends are my problem. When I leave outside of my door, outside of my kitchen, outside of my meal prepping, I have a problem. I am absolutely a food addict. Absolutely. I don't have to be hungry. If it's there, I want it. And I will tell you a story, but it's absolutely too, it's like embarrassing. Like I hone in on food and I will not stop until I get it. You know, and then I like try to hurry up and I'm a fast, fast eater. So I always get like hiccups and it's, um, I don't know what will fix that problem besides the good old grace of God. And I sure could use some right now. So if you're the praying type, you should definitely pray for me because this is um, ridiculous. Um, other than that, um, I, I'm doing some meal prep now. I have food in the oven. Um, I'm making turkey meatballs um, from scratch. I'm making uh, some tilapia, some baked tilapia. Um, I'm making green beans. I have a couple of sweet potatoes in the oven. I have I have some rice already made. And I'm not going to include snacks this week, and I'm going to try to get to the gym twice. I know that a couple of days, I think Thursday, I'm not going to be able to go twice because of my work schedule. But Tuesday, I'm going to go before and after work. Um, and then Wednesday, I'm going to go before and after work. I'm going to, after I finish this video and get everything up on YouTube, I'm going to go to the gym, and then I'm going back at 4.30 for Zumba. Um, so I'm going to do Zumba today and then I'm going to do Zumba tomorrow evening and um, in addition to my workout. So I'm going to try and I will put a screenshot of what the scale said this morning. I'm back up to 290 from 288. Um, I'm not really worried about that because 
It could either be one or two things. My body is still reacting from the food over the weekend or um, my workouts are actually, you know, doing what they're supposed to do and I'm losing fat but gaining muscle. So I did talk to my trainer about fluctuating on the scale and she agrees, you know, just take the scale out once a week from under your bed and, and weigh yourself and make sure you do your measurements once a month. So I will be doing that. Um, and actually, I just passed my one month um, a couple days ago, my one month in on this weight loss journey. I started on the 1st of July, 2013, and today is August 5th. So happy one month to me. Um, the progress that I made, I'm, I'm okay that I made some progress, but I'm definitely nowhere near where I want to be um, progressively. And I'm still working on my goals for August. I'm still squatting, doing my 100 ounces of water, meal planning, and all that good stuff. Um, what else? I'm meal prepping now. I, oh my God, I tried to meal prep a little bit over the weekend while I was in and out of the house. Um, I actually tried a recipe that I saw online for fried rice. Mm, you talking about good? It was so good. I let one of my friends taste it and like the whole the dish was gone. Between me and her, the dish was gone. Um, so another thing I need to work on is portion control. Portion control. Because these big old eyes of mine are way bigger than my stomach organ um so i mean like that's i really 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 have to work on portion control and my impulsiveness um so and my mentality could use a a, a change also because you know a lot of times I get up and I'm just like, oh my God, what am I doing this for? And then because like if from my point of view, I can't see past my boobs. So from my point of view, my body is fat to death when it's really fat to death, you know? So I, um, I need to like just not think about it and just do it. And once I get in the car and get to the gym, I don't have any problem, you know. I never get there and say, oh, my God, I don't feel like being here. I always find something interesting to do at the gym. And um, I, I need to work on having a more positive mindset about it, you know. Um, more, I mean, it, it's just everything. If I don't feel like I'm going to make um, any accomplishments, then I'm definitely not because my mind is not in it. My body could be in it, but my mind um, controls most of the things that I do. Um, oh, also, my mom um, is trying to lose weight with me. Now, she had a bypass surgery about 10 years ago. She's not fat, but she's definitely gained back a couple of pounds. Um and she's she's uh, birthed eight children, so you know, she's got all the curves and everything that comes along with you know spreading your body for babies. That sounds kind of mean. I don't mean it to be mean, but um, yeah, she's definitely got hips and thighs, and she doesn't really have too much of a tummy or boobs. But she's um, she's that good old, you know. Yeah. And so my her sister and I have been doing the no flour, no sugar for a while as part of the 12 step program. I was telling you about a couple of videos ago and she's going to try that with no flour, no sugar, three meals a day. My mom usually accomplishes every single thing she puts her mind to. If I had half of her determination, I probably would not be overweight. Um, but her weakness is chocolate candy and Pepsi's. And I try to tell her Pepsi ain't good for you. Those chemicals are going to kill your brain cells. But, you know, she, you know, everybody has to work their journey at their own pace. So everybody wish her good luck and pray for her and pray for me. Um, another thing that I try to incorporate back into my weight loss journey is quiet time for myself in the morning. Um, I get on my knees in the morning. I pray to God. I ask him for strength. I ask him for help and um you know, I pray for my family and friends. I pray for my community, my YouTube community, and my Instagram community, whoever I can think of <laughs> that um, will support me on this weight loss journey. I pray for them. I pray for them on their journey. Um, I just pray that I can get it right. And, um, you know, God's never let me down before. So I make sure that I, that I get on my knees and I thank him for the things that he's done for me so far. My life is an absolute blessing. If you knew my life story, you would understand my praise, okay? Um, this weight thing is the last of my worries. Um, I, I don't even want to get into it because you know what? I'll get up out this chair. Um, 
anyway, so I, I find some meditation music on YouTube or I just sit in complete silence and try to just center myself and balance my thoughts. Hopefully that'll help my mindset, my mentality, give me some clarity so that I can get my head in this game and do it the right way. It's just the beginning of August. I have a lot of work to do and I have goals to accomplish and this video is long enough. So you guys, um, thanks for sitting here for 16 minutes and um, I will see you at the next video. Make sure you keep drinking your water, keep setting goals and keep your mind positive. You guys have a great week and I'll see you on next Monday at the weigh-in.